Hello guys, Jay here from borntoproduce.com and today's short video is a little bit different. We had a request from a customer, Mario, who wanted to reproduce the famous bass sound in Just an Illusion by Imagination, which I believe came out around late 70s, very early 80s, something like that. And was it done on a Moog? Was it done on a Roland? Etc, etc. And we're going to be looking into all of that and we're going to be trying to reproduce that sound in Cubase. So let's do it. Okay, so first of all, I want to just show you the sort of research videos that I found. And they're by a fantastic channel called Synth Mania. And there's a guy on there who's been trying to do the exact same thing as us, but they're doing it with the old hardware. So they tried it with a Micro Moog and, and uh, Roland SH-1000, which it actually turned out to be in the end, because the guy that actually made the sound and played the bass, Tony Swain, actually wrote about it in his blog there. So it was actually the Roland SH-1000, and not the Micro Moog. And you can get fairly similar results by using these other synths. And what we're gonna do is obviously software synth. You can't get it exactly the same, but you can get a pretty good sound that's pretty close to it. So here is the original bass line that we're trying to recreate. And this is what I got so far. Okay, so how did I recreate that? Uh, it's pretty similar, it's not exactly the same, but it's not bad, I thought. Uh, well, I first of all try to do it in Retrolog. Uh, this is purely just making um, this sound using Cubase plugins, by the way. Uh, at the moment, I'm just, I've decided just to use Retrolog just for the noise, because I noticed in that video there was a little bit of noise on that bass line, so I just thought I'd recreate that with a bit of white noise. But uh, So I originally started off with the square wave and the sine wave, which is what uh, the producer said that he used on the original synth. And it came out like this. It's not fantastic, but this is how it came out. Just uh, solo that, actually. So it was getting there, but it wasn't obviously the right sound. Uh, I had a quick look, uh, I was short of time, so I had a quick look on Halion. And after a lot of sort of to and fro in on various sounds, I found a preset, which is obviously sample based, called Bass Pedal Synth. And that had pretty much the right sound. So it was obviously sampled from a very similar synth. Uh, so in other words, we're starting from a the right sound to start with and then we can do our little tweaks just to get it over the line. So you can hear that's pretty similar. And all I did was I couldn't find a portamento or glide option in the edit settings. I don't know if anyone knows where they are, but I couldn't I just couldn't find the settings. So I ended up doing the what is really really important in this baseline is the glide. It's one of the most important features actually. I ended up doing that um manually so let's just double click and obviously come down here change the what's normally on velocity change it to pitch bend and drew in some line automation on the pitch bend obviously came up here and chose parabola uh, with a line and just did quite a hefty pitch bend on the note that is going up to the next note and obviously the first note here is coming downwards. Let's just play that for you. That took quite a few attempts to, you know, get that right. I was doing a little bit of pitch bend to start with. I was doing it on my keyboard to start with using the pitch bend wheel. But this is how I found it to work. So quite a hefty amount of pitch bend and then straight back down to obviously original pitch bend note uh, for as soon as the second note comes in. Okay, and then just, just to finish off the sound, just to make it a little bit more like the original, because the original uh, reading up about it was heavily compressed. So we've got a bit of tube compression on here. Uh, I've got it on high ratio. I've got on quite a high mix level, and I've got all the drive pushed up and all the character pushed up and the input pushed up and it just gives it a little bit of edge 
This is without. Just a slight bit of edge there. Uh, I've got a bit of distortion on it as well with quadrifuzz. So we're pushing the low mids and the high mids ever so slightly on distortion. So not much here at all, 0 0.9, 0 0.4. And we've only got about a 30% mix here as well. So this is before. Just gives it a slight bit more bite, which is what the original had. And obviously you can see quite a hefty bit of EQ at around 6.85. I'll just do the before and after on that as well. And I've taken off the very low because that just trying to match it to the original. So what a difference that EQ makes. So that's it really. So obviously just added a bit of noise on Retrolog. So uh, turn off the oscillators. I obviously decided to ditch them in the end. Just turned on the noise. White uh, Bamhaus filter and hardly any look. 5%. So that's without noise. Just with a little bit of noise. Just to match the original which I'll play for you now. And here's my version. So I hope that was useful for you Mario and anyone else that's trying to produce 80s type sounds uh, in Cubase. Uh, if you've got any more tutorials then please let us know in the comments below. Visit borntoproduce.com for all our other tutorials and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers guys.